We are doing a new hair color today, which is one of my most favorite things to do. And I'm also going to be sharing some of my favorite Japanese and Korean hair products that I have been loving. Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video is a partnership with Color & Co. This is a personalized hair color system from L'Oreal. If you have followed the blog for a while, you will know that my first ever hair color formulas were from L'Oreal. So I am very excited <laughs> to test out the Color & Co. I do really love how L'Oreal formulates their red colors. I think they do a great job with it. So. I'm excited. <laughs> there are two different things about Color & Co that really stood out to me. The first thing is that everything that you need to color your hair comes in this box. Your developer comes pre-measured in the mixing bottle. Your color comes labeled and, you, and it also comes with personalized instructions because it is a customized formula, which I'll get more into in a second. But you get a brush with your first shipment, so hold on to that. You get your deep conditioner, gloves, Everything that you need to color your hair is in this box. So that really impressed me. I feel like that makes it really easy. I thought this could be a really cool hair color system for somebody who wants more vibrant results than the drugstore, but maybe isn't totally confident yet mixing their own developer and colors and, and figuring out that formula. I know it can be a little bit intimidating at first. The box retails for $29.90. I do have a code for $5 off. My code is Molly. If you choose to do a subscription service, it is $21.90. And then you choose however frequently you want to get shipments. If you wanna color your hair every three weeks up to eight weeks. I am currently at three months. <laughs> so we are going to get a before and after. I actually added up my color formula that, I, that I've been doing for years. I was surprised that just the color and developer, not even counting the brush mixing bottles, I was paying $36 every time I colored my hair, which kind of surprised me. The second thing that really impressed me with Color & Co is that you get a free 15 minute color consultation with a licensed colorist. When I was going to book my consultation, I was so pleasantly surprised to see that everyone is so experienced. Decades of experience in the hair industry. I ended up choosing Carrie, who I loved, and we did our consultation. I kept her on there way too long, but I felt like from within the first two minutes, I felt like she was a friend that I had known for 20 years, and I don't know, we just had so much fun. They have a system on the website. You can answer a few questions and then they'll come up with a formula for you. I recommend doing the consultation. If you've ever gotten your hair done in salon, colored in salon, you know how expensive it is to have a licensed colorist come up with a custom color. So the idea of getting it for $30 like blows my mind. If you do end up booking your consultation with Carrie, please make sure to say hello for me, okay? <laughs> Let's go mix up the color and then we'll talk a little bit more about the Japanese and Korean hair products. We'll do a blowout with them. I'll probably speed all this up so we can kind of get through it and get to the after. <laughs> the, the big reveal. I am going to do for the first time ever a permanent color on my roots and then a demi-permanent on the ends of my hair. I always like to start out with clean dry hair that I've brushed through and this is the stain block that is supposed to go on your skin to prevent color from sticking to your skin but I got it too close to my hairline and Carrie had actually warned me about this and it does prevent some of the color from sticking to your temples. I'll get back to that in a second. I want to point out how these are color coordinated. You can see the orange dot was circled in the center of the color and that goes along with the level 20 developer. So I am going to add that into the developer. I've already taken the tip off of the developer bottle and so I will shake this up until the color is really even and uniform. Back to the stain guard. You can see I ended up having to take it off here because my hair was sticking to it. I think the stain guard is great for somebody with short hair, but if you have longer hair, my hair was getting stuck in it. So skip the stain guard if you have longer hair. And now starting at the top of my head, I do these stripes of color and then use the brush to work the color in so that it's really saturated. I'm really hoping for total gray coverage here. So I go back and forth. I do a stripe on the left, a stripe on the right to make sure that the top is really even and then I'll do one 
whole side on the left side of my face and then I'll flip over to the right side of my face and then I'll do the back of my head which is what Color & Co recommends and oh <laughs> this is when Dolly Parton 9 to 5 came on I definitely recommend that if you are going to color your hair at home you listen to the queen of glam herself Dolly Parton what a gift she is to all of us okay so <laughs> here I am finishing up my hair color and then when I get all done I will flip around and I like to put my hands at the back of my head and just really rub in that color to make sure that it's going to be even at the back because I can't see the back of my head and I don't want to have any spots that don't get color. And to make everything fully recyclable, I put soap and water inside the developer bottle and on my gloves, rinse them out, let them dry, and then you can recycle them. 25 minutes on the clock. And when those 25 minutes are up, I'm back to doing my formula for the ends. And again, you can see the dot is color coordinated. The pink dot was circled on the color and it goes into the pink bottle. And I just love how easy they make this. It really is just a nice easy system to use. I parted my hair into a few different sections and then from roots to tips applied that color, blended it in, put it in this gorgeous bun <laughs> on the top of my head. The stain guard I would skip but the stain eraser wipe is amazing. I used it to clean off any little bits of color that got on my skin, on my ears, and it just was so gentle and really did get the color off. And then when I was done, I cleaned up <laughs> my door and my bathroom floors, which will always get color on them. Everything out, but I wanted to say that the scent is so much better than I anticipated it being. It smells like grape bubble gum. Oh, the old school grape bubble gum. I don't know if you remember that or not, but it just smells so good. And I was not expecting that at all. I was nervous about not having enough color and it seems like I'm good for right now. So let's go rinse it out and see how it all turns out. The first product I want to show you is from a brand called Crazy. This is there and I'm going to say it wrong. <laughs> Ichikami hair foam. I use this at the crown of my hair to give me volume and hold. This is a product from Japan. It contains 6.7 ounces of product and it retails for $19. I absolutely love these hair foams to give me volume without weighing my hair down at all and without making my hair crunchy. So you'll see I use one pump right in the crown of my hair. The next product is from a company called Lador. This is their Silk Ring Hair Essence. And I absolutely love this product for making my hair super silky and frizz free. This is a Korean brand. It contains five ounces of product and it retails for $15. I have hair that can get frizzy very easily and this really smooths out my hair and gives me the most incredible blowout. It makes my hair feel like silk and look like silk. I use about a pea size amount. I had zero expectations when I went to go use this product for the first time and I could not believe how silky my hair felt. This is one of the top selling Korean hair products and I absolutely can see why. I have only nice things to say about this. Next up, this is the Shiseido Aqua Air Deep Moisture Hair Treatment Lotion. This is a product from Japan. It contains 7.9 ounces of product and retails for $17. This is such a cool pump system that I saw on a lot of these Japanese hair lotions. This is a moisturizing treatment. I love that it has this little lock here that you pop out and you can take that out and then it will allow the product to spray. And then if you're going to travel with it or you just don't want it to spill in your bathroom, you just pop this back in and now this is locked again. It sprays out in such a nice fine mist. I really think this is a lovely moisturizing product for somebody who has fine hair because just one or two light mists will give you moisture without weighing your hair down. This is another moisturizing product from Shiseido. This is their Subaki, I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> this is their Subaki hair milk. Again, Shiseido is a Japanese brand. This contains 3.3 ounces of product and it retails for $14. This has a traditional pump and this has more of a lotion feel. This product is absolutely incredible. It's so hydrating. I would say it's probably better for more coarse or thicker hair types because it can get a little bit heavy sometimes, but if you have thinner or finer hair, I think if you just reduced it to half a pump, you would be 
good to go. I use two to four pumps in my hair and it just makes it feel so healthy. The last product is from Utena and it's called Matomage Hair Styling Stick. This is a Japanese brand. It contains 0.46 ounces of product and retails for $12. This is the regular hold and they also have a firm hold. And as you can see, this is a very compact product. It's the perfect size to bring with you on trips or to put in your purse to touch up your hair throughout the day. This smooths down flyaways like nothing I've ever seen before. This is an absolutely incredible product that I will be buying forever and ever now. I think it's so cool. I just love how it's lightweight, but gets those flyaways down for a few hours. It does not last all day. So you might wanna try the extra strong hold if you're looking for all day grip. But if you're just looking to smooth things down for a few hours, Hours, this would be great and then you can reapply as needed. Here are the results. I just rinsed my hair. I did not shampoo yet. Carrie had mentioned to wait two to three days to shampoo and I think th this is really pretty. From what I can tell it's a little bit more golden versus the strawberry. So I think if I did it again I would request it to be a little teeny bit more red, but I also wanna wait and see it tomorrow outside. It's around 6.30 now. We'll check it out tomorrow. Here's my hair in direct sunlight. I feel like it looks even more gold. So I am going to go wash it and see how it looks after that first shampoo. Here's my hair after that first shampoo. I really think that the shampoo helped. It really, to me, blended everything together and the copper and strawberry tones came out and, and were a little bit more equal. It's still a little tiny bit more gold than I prefer in my results, but overall, I'm super happy. Let's go outside and look at this now. One thing that has stayed consistent that's really impressed me is that I did get total gray coverage. As you can see at my roots, there is not a single gray coming through. And this really impressed me. I have always shied away from using liquid colors because I could never get full gray coverage. So this really is professional level hair color and professional level results. Not a gray peeking through at all. So would I try Color & Co again? Absolutely. 10 out of 10 recommend. My hair feels silky. It feels healthy. The results are amazing. I would ask for my next formula to be a little bit more red and slightly less gold. I love the gray coverage. I, I know I keep saying it, but I can't emphasize it enough. Total gray coverage. Really incredible. I loved mixing the permanent and the demi-permanent. I loved being able to do that. I loved how easy it was, how everything was pre-measured. And overall, I'm just really happy with the results and with the health of my hair, how my hair feels. Let's flip around to the back so you can see it there as well. And I'm happy that I also got a chance to show the Japanese and Korean hair products that I've been loving because I feel like the price point on those is so incredible for the quality that you get. The price point is so much closer to a drugstore price point, but the quality is high end. I mean, my hair feels so silky and I have not gotten a haircut in like far too long. Ask away if you have any more questions about the hair color, if you have any more questions about any of those Japanese and Korean products. I am an open book. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.